I'm going to focus on the fact that we want to have a market, as opposed to the kind of questions that we were hearing in the previous session, which focused on the products, is there demand, etc. Now, in a marketplace, we need to ask who are the participants who are allowed to participate, who are the people who will bring in demand and supply. Then we ask questions about what are the products. Then we ask questions about who are the intermediaries, because typically the end supply and the end uh, demand especially in financial services, are not touch points to each other, not often. So typically there are the financial intermediaries, which I think is a very strong debate that we have to have across all financial sectors in this country. Then we have the actual platforms where the market does its functions, which is trading, clearing and settlement. And then lastly, the question is that of regulating. Who is it that supervises this marketplace? So this is what we are going to try to cover in what I guess is about 40 minutes now, given that the hubbub has gone away. And you can imagine that it's very large. And the other thing is that I will take up an echo of a comment that came, that came from the floor at the very end. We've been discussing this for the last 15 years. So if you look at the entire question of policy and thinking on debt market development, which is the subject matter of this, uh, this uh, discussion, we know that there are several reports that have come out on how we can take it forward. Some of it targeted specifically on the questions that I asked. Who are the participants? What are the products? What is the trading platform? Who does the regulation? Right? But for some reason, we seem to be doing this at an extremely slow space as compared with some of the other markets that have been developed in India in the same time frame. So benchmark your mind to 1991. There was a trigger of a financial crisis as well as a market problem, triggered off a whole series of reforms targeting market development. Some markets worked, some markets did not work. And I guess the question that I'd like to focus on here is, A, why did it not work? B, what will it take to make it work? C, does anyone really care? Okay, so those are the questions that I actually want to pose to the people sitting in the panel. And uh, as I said, I've got some wild ideas. I was just telling Jayesh that, you know, people are talking about a bond and they are asking about why people should be interested in a bond with respect to equity. I have a wild idea. Why are people not comparing bonds to FDs? The fixed deposit thing that everybody has one of. If you have a bank account, you typically have an FD. I don't. I'm a card carrying equity investor. But the fact of the matter is that why is it that we do not have access to people who are putting money into FDs? And I recently looked at several FDs offered by several banks. And I found that they were extremely difficult to understand from the point of view of actually what happens if I decide to take money in and out. Whereas a bond, if we do have a bond market with liquidity, you, you put money into something that looks like an FD, in, in my assessment, and you also have liquidity if you have, liquid, if you have a liquid bond market. Okay, so that's the kind of wild space ideas that I'm going to throw out, out here. But to help me do this or fight against me and educate me better, I've got five people. And I think that maybe the best way to do it is uh, we'll take about five minutes each. Is that okay? Right? Uh, the first is Mr. Ravi Kumar. The second is uh, Ms. Shobna Subramanian. Uh, the third is Mr. Bala Subramanian. Uh, Sandesh Kirkade and Jayesh Mehta ends this panel. And what I will do is every time the person steps up to speak, I'll give you a two minute blurb on what is great about that person. Is that okay? Yes? Okay, let's start with Mr. Ravi Kumar. I knew Mr. Ravi Kumar, or I first met Mr. Ravi Kumar when he was at NCDEX, which is the National Commodities Derivatives Exchange. And uh, I met him because I was talking wild ideas about how we should do commodity derivatives trading. And his is one of the firms that actually made it happen. Today, he's the managing director and CEO of Invent Assets. And prior to that, he has worked for 22 years in the Bank of India, as well as abroad and domestically as well as at ICICI Bank. He's got a bachelor's degree in commerce. Uh, he's a certified associate of uh, uh, the London Institute of Bankers, certified associate of Indian Institute of Bankers. So he's got the correct kind of a background to be on this panel. So without further ado, I'll give over the mic to him and let's hear what he has to say on the problem of debt markets. Thank you.